guys. Nate here. So we're gonna tackle Hammerman's imitation game. You can see I got four critter cannons. Sorry, five critter cannons, three bombardiers, and bullet with energy drink. We're going stage one. Let's see what we can do. Figure I do these hits live. Nobody you guys can see me fail or succeed. So these first couple stages are pretty easy. I'm gonna drop everything right in the middle and I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna use the remote hack leaker. Uh, I got a video uploading right now about a cool little trick you can use the remote hack. I don't know if it's a trick or a glitch, but I got the video going right now. Stage one down, pretty simple. Again, with these imitation games, uh, usually it's stage six and seven. That is, takes a little bit of thinking and maybe a bit of skill, but usually stages one through four, sometimes five, pretty straightforward. This one looks like I'm gonna put everything right here in this corner. Since everything's over this way, we might as well put everything in that corner let them go. Man, <laughs> those critter cannons really fire out those critters, eh? Oh my god, look at this. Look at the critters bouncing off the brick, or the stone. Look, one stuck up there. <laughs> it's pretty cool. A little bit of detail, I guess, to the game. Keeps you uh, laughing. Stage two down. My internet's laggy a little bit. Been like that for three days now. I don't know if I'm gonna be pushing on uh, warships anymore. I think I might park the game and uh, go for legendary next season. But I kinda got that itch. Here, we're gonna use a remote hack right here on that shock blaster. Let everything else take it down. And I don't want any of my bombardiers to get wrecked. I'm gonna throw some of my own critters there to get rid of those critters. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have parked in warships, but a lot of people are still playing. I think there's a lot of people that are trying to get that next rank level of 24 and 50 stars for the next rank level um, start next season. I think I'm sitting at 25 and 24 stars right now. I'd like to get to legendary because that's the next start rank for next season, but that's a lot of grinding. To go from where I am, just about just over 25, to legendary probably take me three or four hours of just grinding play after play after play. And I don't know if I got that in. This has been a long, long season so far. Let's go. Stage five, let's see what it's got for us. Nothing much really. Just put everybody down the center. Throw some of these out, some of the bombardiers. Got a cool up front to walk over them. So the bombardiers will stay in front of the critter cannons. But they'll stay behind tanks, scorchers, bullet heavies. But there's so many critters out in front. Only the rocket launchers would target the bombardiers whenever bullet or critters seem to be close enough. Just for fun, let's remote hack that. Oh, I'll look at that too. So while you're remote hacking, nothing none of your offense will attack those defenses that have been remote hacked because they're on your side. I'll try to show you that in this video if I can, but remote hack's useful for taking out certain defenses, uh, good on op operation hits for taking out that one or two key defenses. Stage five. So this sometimes takes a little bit of thinking and skill, sometimes it doesn't. I think this one will. Pretty straightforward. Let's remote 
got that. Drop everything back here. When that goes down. Let's remote pack that. Just to give us that extra no worry. And I think everything's just going to free clear on its own. Let's just. I got the GBE. We'll kick, keep kicking out the remote packs just for fun. But you can see these. Like, look at. Look at all those critters. Then you add in the bombardiers. Oh, you can see that rocket launcher was targeting the bombardiers down here. You can see that. We don't want those guys to die. There's another rocket launcher targeting bombardiers. So when the critters get close, you can see the rocket launchers will shoot over them. Look at the wall of critters. This is cool. I love it. These are my second favorite troop. My, my number one favorite troop is the Rainmakers. These critter cannons are pretty cool. They're good for people who don't have uh, instant training and want to do some map clears because you pretty much put them on the beach and you just watch the rocket launchers and you'll be good. Add in a couple boats of bombardiers like I did and you're set. So we have to SEMO number one right here. I wonder if a remote hack would keep it long enough for the defenses to take that out. There's a lot of health there. Let's find out. We'll pack that. I'll pull it. Drop everything right here. Just in case. I don't want my bombardiers to run over those. Now if I get another remote hack, oh I did. I'm gonna remote hack that shock launcher back there. So I'm not too worried about that first one. Or the closer one. These guys are getting close to those mines there. Uh, I need another critter. Am I gonna get it? Oh, there's mines back there. But we'll just throw a couple of artillery just in case. Everything's going down quite nicely. Now for fun, let's flare the core. Let's see how many critters we can get flying over there. Look at them. Love it. This is what I mean by if you don't have instant training, you really don't have to worry too much about the critter cannons or the ring maker by that matter. Some people adjust their bases when these troops come out, put a lot of the defenses right on the beach. Some people don't, I don't, I really don't care because on the main island, I can clear any base I come up to, I can defeat. So that means anybody can defeat my base no matter what I do. All right, well, this is a little spread out. It's got three prototypes. So I think I'll remote hack the blaster first and launch everything on that side. Now, when I get enough, I'm gonna remote hack the Doom Cannon. Right when that goes down. Let's get rid of that. And then I think we can just free clear for a bit. Like the beam cannon almost took out that shock blaster. Or shock launcher. I'll put it right on it. We'll get rid of it right now. Well, let's free clear for a bit. I think when that boom cannon goes down. Those rocket launchers, I might flare over. Oh, we got a remote pack. Let's get rid of that. See, everything's looking pretty good right now. We might just let them free clear. I think this is uh, this is it for stage seven invitation game. Put in three boats of bombardiers, five boats of the critter cannons. Bullet, you can see bullets not even being touched. Even the spread out base, spread out bases are a lot better for critter cannons. Because the crits can go everywhere and all the defenses will target them and not really overlook or overshoot them. Look at all the GBE, that's just for fun. Get rid of these, get rid of those. And that's it. Imitation game. All stage sevens. Didn't lose a troop. Pretty straightforward. That's it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching.